Hey guys, welcome back to the video and today. We are going to be reacting to NASCAR Authentics 2022 Wave 8. So, I already made a video on this. I've seen all the Wave cars. I've seen them. I've, I've been on I've known about them for a few hours. So, I've seen them. I've made a video about them. But I haven't reacted to them yet. So, we're going to be doing this reaction to, uh, to them. So, I'm um, going through every car. Um, so, I'm just going to put this out. You're probably going to get mad about a few, a lot of these cars. Because they might be all in the PTC mold. The mold that everybody hates. That I think more than half of this um, year's Waves have been on. Which is just insane and is completely stupid by Lionel so yeah it's just Lionel racing for you that I think this is the fourth time this ways are on PTC mold out of eight and this is all the ways we're getting I'm pretty sure we're not even getting up to way 12 or anything like that so um Lionel's waves has been awful this year I'm gonna also like say some um like what they should improve next year so uh yeah we're at the end of the video so we're gonna get ready into this let's start this trip into the NASCAR Authentics this is gonna be painful all right, first up, Ryan Blaney's 2022 body arm, and, and first of all, the picture quality is horrible because Lionel decided that they weren't even going to make the uh, pictures full screen anymore on the videos of their, uh, like, waiver reels, which is completely stupid and by Lionel, but that, that's just Lionel racing them the most dumb changes ever, so, oh god, look at this thing, it's on the PTC mold, first of all, the normal body armor paint scheme looks good, if it's not on the PTC mold, because, oh my god, those tires are horrible, Look at those things. Those are absolutely horrible. The decals, oh, what is going on over there? That yellow doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Look at the 12. Look how crooked the 12 is up there. Oh, my God. And, yeah, you can't even barely see anything. It was the quality so bad because Lionel. And, yeah, oh, my God. Like, the wheel doesn't even look like it's straight. I'm not sure if it is or not. Yeah, the the molds really looks horrible. The tires, though, oh, my God, they're just absolutely all. Look at that window net. Like, the window net for the PDC mold cars are so weird. I mean, you got a black interior, but do you really want a black interior with this window net, uh, with all this PDC mold stuff? No. This is absolutely horrible. Like, look at that. There's decal flaws everywhere. I mean, I can't even point everything out. There's just way too much. There's stuff everywhere. Uh, I can see that random yellow stuff over there for no reason. I don't know why that's there. So, horrible die guess right here. This Ryan Blaney all body armor looks terrible. So, the normal paint scheme looks great. Um, but this is absolutely horrible. Blaney body armor car is just awful looking here. Um, the Cupsters logo, at least you can kind of see it at least. I mean, it's not like some of the other wave cars. We can, can't even see the Cupsters logo. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty bad car here. We'll move on to the next one. Why did they do it to the GoPro car? If you don't know, Lionel decided there they were going to cancel both Ross Chastain's and Daniel Suarez's go -car, GoPro cars, the, some of the two best cars of the year, and they canceled them in the 164 scale, car, in scale. I don't know why, but they're Lionel, so of course they did. All right, starting off here. To be honest, the decals don't look terrible. I mean, actually, I, I spoke too soon. That's really weird looking. That's completely crooked. The 99 looks a little, maybe a little crooked over there, but it's not as bad as the 12. Oh, God, what's going on over there? That doesn't even, I can't even tell because the quality is so bad. Um, I obviously got the terrible looking wheels. There's a thing up there that looks like it's not supposed to be there. It looks like some Lionel dirt stuff. Obviously, the window net looks terrible. I spoke too soon. There's random stuff all over this car. Oh, God, what did I, oh, my God. All right, it's bad looking. It's real bad looking. Um, I'm probably actually going to be getting this since it's an exclusive, technically. There's so many exclusives into this. And Lionel decided that they were going to put this mold, uh, this these this wave on the PTC mold. Even though last wave, all the cars in the Gold Series, I would have rather had this wave so much more on last mold because, and just have that uh, other things on this mold because who cares? Nobody's going to buy that anyway. But now, this is how Lionel's trying to make money. They're Of course, they're trying to put the exclusive cars in the terrible mold just so people buy them. And it's going to work because I need them. So, yeah. Awful looking car here. I mean, the paint scheme is beautiful, but the car just looks terrible. The PDC mold stuff. Moving on to this one. I'm pretty sure this also is exclusive, but I don't think I'm just going to get this one. And uh, what's going on over there? That doesn't look like it. It looks like it's... I don't know what's going on over there. I can't explain it. What is the, the Briscoe thing? It's just so small, it looks like. I mean, it's so blurry. The wheel well looks like the decals are all mixed, messed up over there. Of course, you got your normal PTC molds and everything like that. It, it looks like like a five-year-old painted this. Like, the things can't even go around there. The window isn't even painted right around it. I mean, the decals look horrible in this one. Uh, they look pretty bad. Um, and the wheels just don't make it look any better. So, it makes it look a lot worse. So, yeah, pretty bad-looking decals on here. The colors, uh, at least they're fine. The colors aren't off thank god of course this is another exclusive that lionel canceled for no reason i mean it's not technically an exclusive lionel just cancels them and they canceled half the die cast pretty much this year uh what's going on over there this just doesn't really line up too well lionel okay i'm not sure what that's supposed to be but that's the briscoe car we got a lot more to get to why just why first of all 
They offered this in the Gold Series, and about two days later, they canceled it, expecting you to get a, a trillion pre-orders in two days. No, Lionel, that's not how it works. And these idiots put it on the PTC one, the best paint scheme of all time, in my opinion, the Stenhouse Sunny D car, and they ruined it with the PTC mold. I'm getting it, by the way, because it's, why would I resist this? I mean, I don't care what mold it is. I'm getting the car. But what is going on over there? That just doesn't even line up right. Oh, God, that, that again doesn't line up right. What is this car? It's horrible. The wheel well looks like it's missing half the decals. I mean, like, at least it's the right color. I mean, I would have been even more mad if this wasn't the right color. Now, the decal doesn't look too great either. Oh, my God, it's really bad, though. But, the, like, there's stuff that doesn't line up. The, at least it's the right color, though. I mean, that's nice. I mean, it's not, like, a terrible color. Like, some of the die cast that we get here is, oh, my God. Some of them are horrible with the colors. They didn't even get it right. So, but still looking pretty terrible. Um, this car, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, to be honest, it might actually be the best one so far. I mean, it's not the, it's obviously not good looking. Maybe the best one so far, but still, I'm buying it because I could care less, um, if it's on the PTC mold because it's a Stenhouse car. I mean, I actually too, could care, but, um, like, I absolutely care. But I want to be on the EL mold because Lionel sucks, but of course they got to put it on this mold, but I don't care. I'm not, I'm not resisting it. I don't care. I'm not going to just not buy it because on the PTC, PTC mold. I'm obviously going to buy the Stenhouse car. Why wouldn't? and i but yeah that's ricky senna's car best paint scheme of the year on this thing so thanks lionel oh god what is going the green just doesn't look it looks like a liquid color what is going on here this chris busher car what happened the it looks like the liquid color green that's so that's not a liquid color lionel what is this it's supposed to be like a much lighter green i'm looking at a ryan newman castro car in front, of me, in front of me it's so much lighter i'm pretty sure the red at least looks okay but the green is just so messed up i don't know it's, it's so dark and then it looks like liquid color which the, this, i think it's just supposed to be shiny or something i don't know i don't need this car i don't know if these cars still feel like paper since i've bought any these pt so next gen cars um, but the wheels are terrible, the decals are pretty messed up as well, but this just is horrible, this is probably one of the worst ones so far, I mean, the worst PTC mold car we've gotten this year is that Chase Elliott, I think it's like Universe or something, that is awful, that's the worst die cast I've ever seen, I think, uh, oh, you can't even compare to that, that's just awful, uh, I, I don't even want to look at that ever again, so this car is just still pretty awful looking as well, just look at all the decals, the color isn't right, I don't think, it just doesn't look right to me, so, yeah, the tires just mess up all these die cast, I don't know why they're so big like the why are the goodyear logos so big it doesn't make any sense oh god this is the chris busher car oh god this car what's the numbers a little low line now what's going on over there and oh god the ptc one looks terrible on this one okay the tie logo i guess that's fine no wait oh wait never mind i spoke too soon there's a paint chip of course it's lying why wouldn't we have a paint chips on these what's the decals are going too far like they're going into the wheel what's going on with that lionel and then this just doesn't look right i think it's supposed to be like but it just doesn't look right and I, i'm assuming it's lionel with the lionel and that those decals don't look well the orange looks like it's not the right shade of orange. Like, it's a little off as well. Of course it is. I mean, I got, like, a Eric Jones 2021 version of this car. It looks like a little bit lighter orange. This looks too dark. Oh, my God. Lionel. Oh, wow. Okay. That's just that's just Lionel. All right. This car looks pretty bad. Eric Jones' um, Tides and Food City car. So far, no Chase Elliott cars. What's going on? I haven't seen a single Chase Elliott car. It's a miracle. All right, this is the Tide car. At least this is an exclusive. You can still get this one. Like, there's a few ones that are an exclusive here, but this is the Jones Tide. And, oh, this doesn't actually look horrible. I mean, to be honest, I th where's the name banner? Isn't there supposed to be a name banner? Oh, my God, Lionel. Lionel. And that doesn't look right right there. I don't... Uh, I gotta look at the normal car. I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. At least this is an exclusive. And I know a ton of people would be mad if this wasn't exclusive. But the, it just doesn't look great, to be honest with you. There's something about this car. Like, the paint scheme just doesn't look like it. It looks like they used the wrong render or something. Like, there's no name banner. Like, the, that's there's not a sponsor there. That's just, it looks just weird. I mean, I don't know. The, the, there's also some, like, specs of whatever that is on the car as well. But the decals aren't awful. Like, they're not messed up as well as much as the other ones. Oh, God. Um, as I say that, I think the six. 62 is a little bit crooked of course it is um but yes yeah, still pretty bad looking here though even though it's pdc mold car but maybe the even best one i don't know that's saying something for how bad this mold is this is the best car why just why did they put this mold on the car on the pdc mold why line out why it's the ross chastain gopro car one of the best paint schemes of the year and they just ruined it with the pdc mold car a pdc mold
Why? Just why? All right, first of all, over here, that's just not even close to lining up. I don't know what they're trying to do there. There's, like, random black there for no reason. Oh, my God. At least the colors aren't off. That's nice, but it should be the Chrome Maverick, but they, they're too cheap to put that in the Authentics, of course. Another PTC Mold car here again. And, it just, oh, my God, that's a big paint shift. There's, like, three of them over there. Oh, my God. All right. At least they don't all look like this. Well, they're all different, obviously. They're all different how the, you get the paint shifts. You got to just get lucky. Um, I guess so. Um, yeah, this is pretty horrible looking as well. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't even want to look at this. What, what do they do to this GoPro car? I don't even want to look at that. Um, this one just looks interesting. I mean, the decals are actually fine, I think. I think the decals are fine, but the PTC mold cars are ruining it. Nobody's going to buy this car, obviously, since it's the Gold Series. Who would buy this thing? I mean, it just looks, looks 10 times worse than the Gold Series version. And why would you even spend any money on this? I don't know. Uh, the only uh, ones I'm buying from the PTC mold um, things ever are the exclusive. I will never buy a Gold Series car from the PTC mold uh, line in the Authentics. Hopefully, they stop doing that. So, yeah, this decals actually don't look too bad, but still... Um, it's pretty bad on the PTC mold side. It makes the car look really bad. All right, here's the liquid color. Where's the liquid color, Lionel? All right, we're going to go back over here. What? Um, Lionel? I think we're missing the liquid color. Where's the liquid color? Lionel, is this the same picture or something? No, I don't think... No, it's a different car. Where's the liquid color? This is not a liquid color. It's the exact same paint scheme. What is this? I've seen some good liquid colors in the past. No, this is not a liquid color. There is nothing liquid color about this thing. This is just a normal paint scheme from Noah Gregson. It's the same exact Wendy's car and nothing new about it. It's just the same one we just looked at like two minutes ago. Oh my God. The worst liquid color in history. And that's going to wrap up NASCAR Authentics. What a terrible wave. The paint schemes are incredible, but the wave is awful. Nothing good about this wave except the paint schemes. That's the only thing that's good about this. You got like um, two of them, I think, are two or three of them are in exclusives, but then the rest of them are, um, unfortunately. I really wish they put it on a different mold. And then you got this. Um, I mean, this, the excuse for the liquid color. Yeah, okay. I have a better one for a liquid color. Do that, maybe. Maybe even, yeah, the set house wouldn't be good for that. would look great in the liquid color. Nope. We're going to choose this one and not even make it a liquid color. Oh my god. Lionel. I have had enough with them they've got to get rid of the pdc mold car or pdc mold stuff for the wave um 2023 things i don't mean they if, if they don't do that um, nascar authentics is going down it's gonna fail forever and it's gonna be gone so oh my god i don't even know what the point of this putting all these on the pdc mold what the point of it even is but that's just lionel so if lionel puts the entire 2023 waves on the pdc mold die uh, diecast i'm done collecting nascar authentics i'm done like, I haven't collected any of since August, but they've been all mostly on the PTC mold, or even if they're not, they're just, like, the normal paint schemes I can buy in the Gold Series, and they look a lot better. So, oh my god, what a terrible wave. Awful wave by Lionel Racing. I mean, this is my favorite, uh, not that one, um, this is my favorite car in the Authentics. Unfortunately, it's on the PTC mold car, but terrible wave. Hopefully, next year's waves, well, this year's actually waves are better, because I'm pretty sure this is the last wave of 2022. Thank God, worst year in history for NASCAR Authentics, by far. I mean, we had barely any waves. The, we had such long breaks between a lot of waves, and it was just completely all over the place. One day, we had, like, a one-day break, and that's, next time, we had, like, a three-month break between waves. I mean, I, I don't even know how to explain this stuff. And, uh, like, half of them were on the PTC, uh, PTC mold. So, terrible NASCAR Authentics next year. Hopefully, 2023 is better. And, yeah, that's just going to wrap it up on this terrible wave. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.